Project 2025 is a promise. A promise to the conservative people and what they want to do for America. But inside Project 2025 is a lot more promises. And one of the many promises that they have is to the American family. They want to get the American family back to what they think are traditional American family values. And they view the LGBTQ community as not part of that agenda. Promise one, restore the family as the centerpiece of American life and protect our children. The next conservative president must get to work pursuing the true priority of politics the well-being of the American family. And I agree with that. We're all trying to get America to be as strong as possible so that it protects our families because our families is what sustain America. You can't have a library without a thousand or a million books. Without books, there's no library. Without the American people, there's no America. So I understand. And they go on to list about single family households and how a lot of black children are born in unmarried households. And, and they go into the deep numbers and percentages of that. But then they correlate the LGBTQ community and pornography. You got to hear this. Pornography manifested today in the omnipresent propagation of transgender ideology and sexualization of children, for instance, is not a political Gordian knot strictly binding of desperate claims about free speech, property rights, sexual liberation, and child welfare. It has no claim to First Amendment protection. Now, heterosexual pornography has free speech. And so that I don't bore you and that you get some kind of entertainment, you got to go back to a movie by Woody Harrelson where he did The People vs. Larry Flint, where he played Larry Flint, who was the owner of The Hustler magazine. And of course, you had uh, Playboy and stuff like that. But that movie pretty much talks about how pornography got First Amendment speech protection rights. They are saying in that statement that the LGBTQIA plus community is essentially pornography but not the type of pornography that we're used to and because of that they don't get first amendment rights they also label them this way its purveyors are child predators and misogynistic exploiters of women their product is as addictive as any illicit drug and as psychologically destructive as any crime so they went on to label the lgbtq community and then they defined them and said because you are this you are a sexual predator of children but they also call the lgbtq's behavior addictive so that lets me know that maybe they like what they are they just don't want you to know that they are that too that's what it sounds like to me pornography should be outlawed the people who produce and distribute it should be in prison now notice how they're giving porn a whole new meaning and saying now pornography equals lgbtqia and because of that it should be outlawed and banned and those people should be in prison if you read it verbatim if you read it full on you engulf yourself in the new definition so now pornography is just not whatever you think it is in your head now pornography is what they just told you it was and since they believe educators and librarians are purveyors and and solicitors of their definition of what por pornography is now listen to what they think should happen to those educators and librarians educators and public librarians who purvey it should be classed as registered sex offenders. Yeah, they're going to get parents around the country, Moms for America and all these other conservative groups, to go into libraries. And any hint of any kind of homosexual porn, because of, remind you, pornography is not what you think it is now. Pornography is what, is what they told you it was. And once they go in there and find that stuff in your library, they're going to arrest you librarian, they're going to arrest you educator, and they're going to deem you a, a, a sex offender. In AT&T, Verizon, you know, uh, Cricket Wireless, don't think you're out of this too because they got your ass too. And telecommunications and technology firms that facilitate its spread should be shuttered. And they're not stupid. They know that whatever their definition of porn is, they're going to target those books. So any authors that write any erotica, any magazines that print whatever they deem to be inappropriate, they're going to get you disbanded. They're going to get your company shut down. And so they know that all those books and magazines, they can get them. Once they got them, they're going to target the telecommunication companies. So anybody that's sending anything wireless, if you send stuff wireless across state lines, that's federal. And if the federal government make the laws to restrict that, big companies got a choice to make. 
So this is Project 2025 and that book is 930 pages long. So there's a lot more in there. If you want to know more, just throw more in the comments and let me know. And also, what do you think?